Hey kids, welcome back. So great to see you all again. Last week we learned about uh, Jesus as our good shepherd and how we, as God's people, we are like sheep. And I'm so excited to share with you another object in the Bible that the Lord our God continued to teach us. So are you ready? Let's begin. And our word for this lesson is door. Bible also refers doors as gates or gateway. Now let me ask you a question. What are the doors used for? Hmm. Let's think about it. We have a bunch of answers. Doors are used to um, keep us safe, to protect the ones that are inside a room or inside a house. If it's winter, it could also protect you from the snow or the harsh weather. It's also to keep the strangers from going inside your house or your room. There's so many more reasons that the door can be used for. You also have to realize that a door is the proper way to go in or a legal way to go into a property. What I'm saying is that if you can imagine, if you are going inside your house, you wanted to go inside your house and then it was nighttime and then you used the back window, what would the neighbors think? What if they couldn't recognize it was you who's trying to get into the house? They might think you're a burglar or you're a thief that is trying to break in. You see, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the only way the truth and the life. No one comes to Father or to enter His kingdom except by Him. Jesus is like a door that the Bible is talking about. That if we want to get to know God and to know His ways and His kingdom, it will have to be through Jesus. Here's our memory verse for today. John chapter 10, verse 9. Jesus said, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. You see, Jesus wants to protect us from people who are selfish and who are not telling the truth about him. And so Jesus told us a story in the Bible to help us know the truth. And this is how the story goes. As many of the people Jesus spoke to owned sheep at that time, he told them a story about a shepherd who really cared about his sheep. Every morning, the shepherd would come to the sheepfold and open the gate to call the sheep out by its name. The sheep knew the shepherd and trusted him, so they always followed him. Sometimes, thieves would come early to the sheepfold and climb over the walls and try to get the sheep out. But they would not follow because they did not know or trust them. At night, after a long day out in the pasture, the shepherd would bring his sheep back home and open the gate so they could go through the fold and be safe, warm and comfortable through the night. Jesus said that he is like a door on the sheep fold. We must come through him if we want to be God's people. So here's the question. How do we become a child of God? Number one, we need to ask God forgiveness. And this means turning away from what we want to do, but in, and instead learning to follow God's ways instead. Number two, we need to believe that Jesus died for our sins and rose again. Number three, we need to ask Jesus to live inside of us and believe that He is the Son of God and He is the only way for us to be connected back to our Heavenly Father. Here's the important reminder. If anyone tells us that there are other ways to get into heaven except Jesus, they are like thieves and burglars trying to get inside of the sheepfold. We know that they are thieves in 
Jesus story. You see, Jesus brings us life and protection and security if we are willing to follow our good shepherd. Next time you feel fearful, worried, or scared, always remember that we have a good shepherd willing to lay down his life for us to protect us from any danger ahead. Jesus places his life between us and the danger to keep us safe because he loves us very much. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and click all to follow our future videos. Also, don't forget to check our website and download our arts and crafts for this lesson and visit www.ifcchurch.ca. Thank you for joining me and always remember that you are special and that God loves you very much. Have a blessed day, kids.